Hello, this is Shannon Kringen. You're watching Goddess Kring. It's been so long since I've done a video. It's been, I think, several months actually, and I keep thinking that I want to record something, and then now that I'm doing it, I'm like, do I really want to share? I used to really be free form, and now I feel like I don't really have a lot to share. I guess I'm so busy living my life that I, I'm a little sad about that actually, that I'm like afraid to share on camera after doing this for 15 years every week, dancing around nude, getting lots of feedback. I'm happy to say that recently a short documentary film was made about me, a biography. They needed a subject. I have friends that were working on a, they entered a national documentary competition and they needed a, a subject. And they asked me, would you like to be our subject because we need to do a short biography of someone and you're an interesting artist. And so they decided to interview me and it's called Typecast Dragon. I have part of one of my poems that's Typecast my dragon sleeps, monkey moon, coming soon, phases of seeing the gray balloon is part of one of my poems. And they chose the title Typecast Dragon. And I'm happy to say that this film, this short film, is going to play at the Toronto Film Festival on May 1st, 2012. And I'm also happy to share that I recently had three different art shows and sold nine photos and had amazing, made amazing connections with some people that appreciate my work. And I took a class on dreams and the earth. And now I'm taking a class on ceremony and ritual design and transpersonal psychology and synesthesia and imagination and global water rights and wars. So I'm going to an alternative college where there's no grades and there's no tests and there's just written evaluations and they stress that you they want all the students to follow their bliss and mix that with social social justice of some kind so I'm going to the right school and I'm, I'm working on my BA that I'm designing myself and then I might get my MFA which is a Master of Fine Arts for those who don't know. So my name is Shannon Kringen. You're watching Goddess Kring. I'm a figure model, multimedia artist um, in school. And I just got back from Scotland. I took advantage of the opportunity because somebody invited me to Scotland and I belong to the website that's called couchsurfing.com. So I was able to find um, friendly people to stay with when I was there because I was on a budget. And so it's sort of dual purpose when you do the couch surfing thing. You get a free place to stay, but you also get to become friends with people who actually live in the city that you're staying with. So it turns it into a real personal experience. And I met amazing people in Scotland for 10 days. If you go to my website, shanningkringen.com, you will see um, a link to my live journal and my Flickr photo stream. And I have like Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and all that jazz on my website. It seems like I used to be really good at pouring my guts out on camera. And right now I just feel like I'm sort of hiding and I'm sort of like self-conscious and worried about what you think about me it's like I used to be so brave and so good at like letting it rip you know because I thought well nobody's gonna watch me anyway or nobody cares or whatever who cares I just need to express myself and now I'm like I want to express myself but I'm all self-conscious about what I'm saying and what I'm not saying I met a new person I'm actually going to have dinner with him tonight, and I'm very excited about meeting him. I don't want to go into details. I want to protect the privacy of that. But let's just say that there's potential with this person. I think I'm more mature now in terms of relationships, but also I think that this person might be a better match for me than most people that I've tried to date. So this person is somebody I'm excited to get to know and hang out with. And the sparks are kind of flying but I need to be careful with my boundaries. I get kind of carried away sometimes. 
So I think that's all I want to share right now. This is just a real short Goddess Kring monologue here. I wanted to say something too about mother wounds. I myself was raised by a mother, and this is a touchy subject for me to share online because my mother is very private. She does not like to be photographed, and she is an artist, and she lives in the country, in the woods, I mean in a house, but in the woods. She's very private, and she's not a city person, and I love my mom, and my mom loves me. But let's just say that there are certain ways in which she doesn't know how to nurture me. And I know that no mother is perfect. But I, I'm recognizing that I have a bit of a mother wound. A lack of mother nurturing. And it's hard for me to even say that because in my mom's mind, because my mom really did not have a good relationship with my grandmother. And so compared to that, my mom and I have a much better relationship than my, than my mom and my grandma did. But my mom doesn't realize that there is a similar pattern. And there is a certain kind of lack of love that I feel from my own mother because she's wounded. Because she didn't get the love from her mother that she needed, I think. And my grandfather died in a car crash very suddenly. That's a long story. But my mom, I think, has unresolved grief. But in my mom's mind, she doesn't because she studies Advaita Vedanta non-duality spirituality. And she's an artist. And so in her mind, she has transcended all of the family grief and all of the whatever family issues. In my mind, that's not so much the case, at least my experience. It's who am I to say? I don't know what it's like to be my mom, but... I'm her daughter, and as her daughter, just my feelings is that I'm not, uh, there's things, there's certain kind of love that I need that, that she just can't give me, and I have to grieve that, and that's fine. I can forgive and accept both my parents just as they are and grieve, but I need to realize that I can have adult relationships with other people and get some needs met. I, I sort of grew up... Um, thinking that I shouldn't get my needs met or that my needs were not okay. And now I still go around trying to have relationships with other adults where I am neglected and deprived of giving and receiving love with people. Like I, I meet people that can't really be there for me because that's what I grew up with, neglect. So now I'm trying to learn, okay, I need to forgive my parents, love them for who they are, accept that, accept myself and love myself, but know that I can... Learn to have relationships that are not about neglect and deprivation. And stop thinking that I have to do everything by myself. You know, people, we, we all need to give and receive love with each other. At least that's what I think. So I'm really excited that a film was made about me and it's in the top 10 of a, contest, a national competition. It's going to show at the Toronto Film Festival. It's called Typecast Dragon. Um, I was interviewed for a magazine recently called Death Book, like a fashion alternative. I'm not sure what's going on with that. And then I was interviewed for like the, um, another newspaper, like an online newspaper kind of a thing. And I had some art shows. And I went to Scotland. If you want to see pictures of Scotland, just go to shannonkringen.com and check out the link, my, the Flickr link. And I apologize that this video is not exactly, like, fascinating, but at least I'm sharing. It's April of 2012 as I'm sharing this, and again, I just got back from Scotland. I love Scotland. I love the food. I love that they drive on the left. They have nationalized health care, and I met some wonderful friends there that I couch surfed with, and I went on a few blind dates there. And I just, I love Europe. I've been six times. I would love to go again. I've been to lots of different European countries. I'd love to go to Africa and Asia and Thailand and South America and Australia. I've been there once. I'd love to go back to Australia sometime. I love to travel. I love to take photos. I love to express myself in various ways. Healing and growing is my message. Be yourself no matter what they say. Goddess Kring, good night, or good afternoon, or good evening.